Let's talk to her first. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh, you're a reporter. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. No, I can't not. tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. Oh, so I'm he's sorry. useful? She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Humanity and all. Uh, what are you working on? What are you on? messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, look, a radio. Uh, now it is a girl. Why don't we try and press the power button? Hmm, nothing. <laughs> uh, well, the volume wouldn't do anything since it's not even on. Uh, antenna? Always gotta raise the antenna. Uh, batteries? There are no batteries in this thing. Wow. Do you know yeah. that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I Stupid. can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Well, the, all right. It's not that hard to look for batteries. I mean, there are batteries, and that's about it. That's all I can really say. Is that we there can't let anything batteries. happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Ooh, an energy bar. I don't really understand the purpose of that. Ooh, another energy bar. I'm gonna be rich in energy bars. Rich in energy. Uh, ooh, a battery. Is it an A battery? Double A? Triple A? You okay? Hey there. Hi. Uh, can I get you can anything? Can I, uh, get you anything? Want I'm a candy okay. bar? Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Uh, uh, meh. We'll sit tight. Okay. I don't think I should tell a kid about my killer past, but, uh, here, have a candy Not bar. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I took care of Clementine. Not really, I just gave her a candy bar that she could have gotten herself. Nothing really... Nothing really, like, special there. You seen a battery? How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily, Larry, Lee. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. Punch and that him. violence before with my dad. That didn't help. Uh, well, you were about to, you know, kill a man's kid. And he isn't bitten, so yeah. Uh, I already heard what's wrong with him. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Military chick. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Um, is anyone here? Oh, Jesus. Is anyone here? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh. Are you okay? It's not good for your family. Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Understandable. Uh, exit. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Well, uh, well, whoever it was that lived here is dead. <laughs> that sucks. Since sleep was apparently close to him. A food box, probably empty. I need another battery. I wanna find another battery. Let's. Uh, Let's go talk to Kenny. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our best. Hi, damnest. Kenny. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. So, uh, how's he doing? 
How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Uh... Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Well... Yeah, well... I'm assuming. She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. I'm assuming they're dead. She doesn't know. Like... But there's nothing to really explain that, is there? Uh, what's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? No. They own this place. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Catch. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Well, I'm pretty pessimistic in this playthrough. I was always a little optimistic, like, oh, maybe they're alive, and now I'm like, well, Lee, everyone's dead. You got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? I was worried about Duck. It happened pretty, it happened fast. pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. Well, you ran away, Kenny. Yes. You probably could have helped. Try to let it go. Like, like you could have helped. I mean, you chose to run away with your boy instead of just maybe putting him down and helping Sean, but. You know, you kind of just... I, I understand it, looking after your kid, but don't get talk. How can I with those things don't, out there? Like, don't talk like you could have saved him because you weren't going to. Uh, who are you? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. You're an adventurer. Play Skyrim? Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Again, makes me wonder what year is this set? Like, I don't know. It's probably the year when the comics started. Because they're only like a year in through the comics or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's in 2012. That dude's getting eaten. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey, you want to come out here? Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. That's and all I care about. Gets you. They eat you, and whatever's left comes back as one of them. Let's eat your brain. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. All right, well, let's take a look-see. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Yeah, everyone in Atlanta's probably dead. I can't reach that brick. Yeah, you can. And uh, that's Dougie. Oh, who's that? Look at the one trapped over there. Oh, that's someone who works there. Better him than us, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Um. He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Probably. I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. 
He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Exactly. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. The uniform isn't enough. No man really has to wear a uniform in any of these places nearby. Like an electronics warehouse, I don't think they're going to be wearing a uniform. Uh, the lock. I'm not going to open the lock. That's stupid. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? They're dead. I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. So they failed. Miserably. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Man, that sucks. Let's go back inside. Ah, uh, yeah, let's, let's head go back, back inside. inside. Okay. Why were you having to bend down if you could just get up and walk? Uh, bitch still trying to get things working. Energy bar. Where's the battery? I need another battery. I already found one down here. I can't walk down there. Maybe I should go in the office. I'm a bad man. Yeah, I've talked to everyone, so why don't we go in this little office here? Alive inside. Not anymore. Open it. Yeah, that's a lot of blood. Hey, Clementine. You followed me. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Why are you following me? How are you doing? Okay. Okay. Oh, what's this? What's this? There's a photo over there. Really? No shit. Aww. Three of those people are dead. Oh, now that's not nice. Find anything? Oh! Hey, lady. a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. Maybe. I know who you are. Well, damn. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Damn. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Who's right look, there? Don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Instead of the little girl who's right near you. Thanks. Telling her I'm Don't a murderer and all. It's not kinda cool. It's kinda not cool. Now she knows my past. 